Please join us in prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you always for who you are, for your love and what you've done. We thank you for everything you've blessed us with and for the hardships you've given us. We humbly ask you, Lord, that you help us have hope in the future and help us not dwell in the past. Help us understand your plans, that your plans are good, and that you have your hand in everything. You have your hand in this pandemic, you have your hand in our government, you have your hand in in our own personal lives. Your spirit is everywhere, and if we trust in you, you will bring goodness in everything. Even if the goodness comes with pain, we know, Lord, that you have a bigger plan and a bigger future and a bigger vision than any of us can imagine. So please help us have trust in that and help us let go of control. Help us let go of always trying to figure things out and allow us just to be still. Allow us to just believe that there is a new way and a new life in store for us. We know that you are making new paths. And as we travel in this desert, as we live in this wasteland, like you say in Isaiah, help us have the hope that there's going to be new springs and there's going to be living, eternal living water that we can drink and we can be filled with. Thank you for whatever you have planned for us. And I pray that Anything, anything that is in our past, past bitterness, past anger, past frustration, or lack of forgiveness, I pray that everything in the past that is toxic to our soul, that we can let go of it and embrace your love. We thank you so much for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good evening, welcome to our day 66 of our Coronavirus Novena Prayer. And I would like to read a passage from Isaiah 43. It goes, Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. So today um, we have displayed the Jesus's crucifixion or also known as like the sorrowful all five of the sorrowful mysteries and it really correlates to this verse because through Jesus's death and suffering he made all things new many times when we think about suffering or we think about tough times it's hard to think about the the purpose of it or like the good things that can come from it but the Lord himself said that he will always make everything new. So even if you're in a desert or you're in a wasteland, he'll make a path, he'll make a way, and he will he will bring something new and refreshing from that moment. So that's something that we can hold on to and have hope in, especially um, during um, not only this pandemic, but the, I guess, the social climate with all the riots happening and just all these changes that are causing an increase of anger and frustration. We can, we as Christians can hold on to the hope that God is making something new and something good out of these situations. We, for us, our part was just we have to believe in it. We have to continue praying and we have to have that sense of hope that, that God is, has, God has like this humongous plan behind the scenes and instead of us falling into our own worry, our own anxieties or frustrations, we can have a certain joy. We can be joyful that the Lord's in control. We can be joyful that the Lord is um, renewing our hearts, renewing our lands, and renewing our faith. And we can be joyful that when we suffer, or when we go through tough times, there's always a purpose behind it. So please join us in prayer as we dedicate our prayers to um, everything that's going on in this world and especially for those who are being affected the most.
Hello, once again, and we are here on our day 66. And today, let's offer our prayer uh, for world peace and also offer for the uh, sufferings of uh, the countries that are affected by the coronavirus. And uh, as you can see, as what Marian said, we are here on the sorrowful mystery. So, uh, we have to kneel down in the cross and offer all our sufferings, sacrifices, and uh, ask for forgiveness for our sins. So we're going to start now with uh, our prayer for peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour for death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in beginnings, now and shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour for death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour for death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour for death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, so now and shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, so now it shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Okay, so um, thank you so much, uh, everyone for uh, praying with us and hopefully that uh, tomorrow you can still join with us in prayer on our day 67 and uh, we're almost there almost end of the month and uh, we are hoping that uh, after our last video you can still pray with us and uh, hopefully uh, everything will be going back to normal um, we are on a few, few more steps ahead and uh, everything will be in normal. So, uh, goodbye for now. See you tomorrow and God bless. Thank you.